How flammable is IPA? It's like only 99% alcohol. So you can imagine what it looks like if you have a full container of IPA just burning away. Let's check out a relative. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to test out alternatives for IPA washing. If you are into the resin game, then you know that if you print something, that you will have to wash it. Most people use IPA, but IPA has two negatives. One, it's very smelly, and two, it's kind of a fire hazard. Now, luckily, there are other things that you can buy, and this is the Sunlu detergent, and this should replace the IPA. And I forgot to mention it, you obviously do not need to use this with water washable. So what is the Sunly detergent? This is an alternative for the IPA washing. This is a two-stage washing. So that means that you first will need to clean it in a bath of this Sunlu detergent. And after that, you will have to wash it in some water. As always, big disclaimer, Sunlu has shipped this detergent for free for me to test, but there was no money exchanging hands so I can be as unbiased as possible. So in order for me to test out the resin detergent, I have worked together with the creator, which I'm going to link to right now. And I printed this resin bust from a Spider-Man character. So we have printed this on the Algo Jupiter and some Syria Tech Fast. And now we are going to put it in some container and wash all the parts in it for the first wash. Like I said, this is a two-stage wash. So we are going to wash it first in some detergent. So I stole a container from my wife that she's never going to see back again, poured in some Sunlu detergent and then cleaned all the parts by hand. Now, one thing I noticed is that the smell of the Sunlu detergents was very low. It's a very soft smelling uh, kind of detergent. So if you were searching for something that is not as harsh as the IPA, then this is already smelling very good. So we have washed this one with the Sunlu resin detergent and we have washed this one with some IPA and the feeling this feels like an IPA cured one. So this isn't tacky, this isn't feeling weird and this one is sticky it's not really sticky it feels a bit gummy a bit rubbery so this one like they say on the bottle needs to be washed with some water the cleaning was about the same so we have a perfect resin removal of both models uh, even the uh, detergent did great and comparing to the IPA so it is a good alternative now pricing wise I think this time um, now that Corona and all that stuff is gone, that you will find IPA more affordable. You can get those big jugs of, I think it's five liters of them for around, I think I paid 40 uh, euros for it. So I think it's fairly affordable. This bottle of detergent is about that much. So I think it's a bit more expensive to get to those five liters. So it has been a few days and the detergents kept on sticking. So I decided to take a bucket of water, plunk this in to the water. I washed it thoroughly and now it feels just like a regular print. It doesn't feel funny. It still smells a bit like the detergent, but the detergent isn't very smelly. So I don't see any problems in there. Now, one thing you have to know is that even this is washed with a detergent, you do not want to put it in a sink and let the water go right into the drain. You should take a bucket of water and then catch it in something like this. This is an empty bottle of water and you have to dispose it at your local disposal filled center. I don't know how you call it. <laughs> Here in Belgium, it's free. You can leave this behind and it doesn't cost you a penny. So we have done some testing IPA versus the Sunlu detergent and there is no real difference to be seen except that this has a two stage and this is just a one stage before curing. Now it's going to be up to you if you are bothered by the IPA and by the smells it's a bit uh, can be a bit pungy in the nose and it's a bit of a danger it's very flammable. Now that is one thing that the detergent I haven't tested so let me do a test. So I'm going to try and burn some of the detergent right in here. So in this top we have some detergent. I'm going to pour it into this little thingy right over here. So we have some detergent. We have the detergent. Let's light it up. So we have a flame. 
as you can see we have a flame so it seems that it doesn't burn so we have the extra safety of not burning we have the extra safety of not being so toxic of a smell the only thing that i can mention is that it is a two-stage product so you have to uh, rinse it first in a detergent and then go to a bucket of water and rinse it again to get out of that sticky stuff that's going to be it for me if you want to know more about the sanlu detergent there's going to be a link down below and if you want to know more about the siraya tech fast i have a whole playlist there resin testing gauntlet where I test all these resins for the strength, the flexibility and much more. You can see it right there. Wait before you go, I don't think I say it enough. I want to thank you guys for watching. I really mean it. Because of you, the channel just got monetized and I will be able to afford more uh, projects in the future without paying out of pocket, which is it, this means so much for me so everybody even behind the scenes not looking at the videos like my family or the the people that i work with like these resin testing uh, gauntlets thank you so much and i hope to see you in the next one